I'm Brett St. Clair. I'm here in East Concord standing underneath a power transmission corridor that's proposed to be the site of the Northern Pass uh, transmission line as it passes through Concord. With me today are Deputy City Attorney Danielle Pasick. Hello. And uh, Assistant City Planner Beth Fenstermacher. A lot of people have heard about the Northern Pass uh, transmission um, line and uh, seems like you know this has been discussed for a long period of time. Can you give us an overview of uh, where Northern Pass is proposed to go through Concord? Sure, it's proposed to come in um, on the Canterbury Town Line and it's an eight mile corridor with 100 foot plus or minus proposed poles coming through and it'll travel through East Concord. Um, it'll go over 393 through the, by the Steeplegate Mall, past the airport, and then out through Pembroke. Beth, how does the Northern Pass line differ from other structures in this transmission corridor? So they're proposing to um, remove one of the existing power lines that goes through right now that's about 50 feet through the city, and that's going to be moved about 40 feet closer to homes. So they're clearing approximately about 11 acres of vegetated buffer through the whole city as part of this project. Um, and that new line will increase in height and there'll also be a 100-foot power line that runs through the, the middle. It's going to be more of an industrial view look than it is right now. It's um, much larger in scope than we see right now running through the city. Okay, and, and how um, tall are the tallest poles being considered as part of this Northern Pass uh, transmission line? The majority of them are around 100 feet. There are some proposed up to 120 feet, and um, currently as they're going through the application process, they're discussing uh, the tallest one would be about 165 feet as it crosses 393. In, in comparison, um, how tall is the uh, New Hampshire State House? So the top of the dome where the eagle sits is 150 feet, so it's about 15 feet taller. Um, so if you think of as far as building heights, it's probably most of them will be around a 9 to 10 story building as far as heights go. Okay. And just to make clear um, for folks, the Northern Pass uh, transmission line has not been approved by the state yet. Um, it's in the approval process. Beth, what effect will Northern Pass uh, have on Concord as it's proposed right now? It'll have a pretty big visual and aesthetic impact on the, the rural character of Concord. Um, the Conservation Commission um, hired a consultant on, to come on board and do a visual impact assessment for the entire city. And there are some places, even on the west side of Concord, as far as Diamond Hill Farm and Carter Hill Farm, where you'll possibly see the northern pass structures coming through the city. So it's beyond just the abutters that'll, that'll have the impacts. Um, the city spends a lot of money on conservation land to preserve the rural character that we all enjoy within the capital city and this will impact that ridge line that we see when we're looking out over East Concord and there'll be this industrial structures running through um, interrupting that rural character. Okay, wow. And my understanding is that uh, even from um, second floor and above uh, um, heights on Main Street in Concord, you may be able to see the new transmission line if it's above ground? That's correct. Part of the in, um, impact assessment was to look from what could you see not just on the ground, but what you could see from buildings. And there are structures on Main Street from office windows that you'll be able to see the structures from, where right now you're just looking out on the, the ridge line on the east side of Concord. The structure that we're currently looking at right now is 50.5 feet in height. It is going to get relocated 45 feet closer to the road, and it will be 105 feet when it's reconstructed. And instead of being on a wooden a-trame, it will be a steel monopole, and the entire tree buffer along Mountain Road that we can see at this intersection is going to be removed. And after the H-frame pole that we just looked at is relocated, there will be a new line put in, which is the new Northern Pass line, and the structure for the line in this particular area will be 100 feet tall. Danielle, what's the City of Concord's official position on Northern Pass? The City of Concord voted, um, the City Council voted to oppose the project as it's currently proposed, which is all overhead, as Beth mentioned, in Concord. The City Council would like to see the lines buried through Concord in order to reduce the visual impacts that we've talked about. And City Council also instructed the legal department to intervene before the Site Evaluation Committee to oppose the project as it's been proposed. 
And so that's been your job is to follow these uh, hearings at the Site Evaluation Committee and uh, question um, the Eversource people and other uh, folks about Northern Pass, correct? That is correct. Currently before the Site Evaluation Committee we are having a trial and the Site Evaluation Committee is the committee from the state of New Hampshire that is responsible for either approving or denying the project. And right now we're in trial. People are testifying both in favor and against the project. And the site evaluation committee's listening to all of the evidence. And based on that evidence, that is what it's going to use to make a decision. Okay. And um, how important is this process right now if folks want to make their kind of views known either for or against um, Northern Pass as it's currently proposed? This process is actually critical for people to have their voices heard. Whether somebody's in favor of the project or opposed to it, even if they're not a party before the Site Evaluation Committee, they can send a letter or they can send an email to the Site Evaluation Committee and the committee reads every single one of those letters and it looks at them and considers them in making its decision. Uh, there are also a few public comment hearings where people can actually come in and testify or talk to the committee about their specific concerns and City Council certainly encourages anybody, especially people who live and are impacted by the project, to either write a letter or to make a statement. Okay, thanks. And um, Danielle, has Northern Pass or Eversource agreed to bury uh, the lines anywhere along the route? They have. Right now there are 60 miles of lines that are proposed to be buried, but all of that area is in the northern section of New Hampshire. Currently they have not agreed to bury any of the lines in central New Hampshire, which is obviously where Concord's located. Okay. And um, again, the City Council's position is that um, because Concord is the most populated area that the Northern Pass transmission line is traveling through that potentially it has the most impact um, kind of on people than anywhere else in the state. Is that sort of correct? It is. In Concord, the line will pass through very populated areas. Um, both residential and business areas that are important to Concord. As Beth mentioned, the poles will be above tree line. They'll be much higher than they are now, and City of Concord wants to see it buried. Okay, thanks. Um, Beth, if someone isn't sure or is concerned about the potential impacts on their property, somebody who lives right next to the um, uh, transmission corridor, uh, they're not sure where the poles will, will be located or what trees might be cut to kind of protect the view shed from their home. Um, what should they do? They can look on the city's website. We've set up a website um, that they can look at. It's conquerednh.gov slash northern pass. And there's contact information where they could reach out to Northern Pass, and Northern Pass has agreed um, that they will look at what the direct impacts are to abutters and to listen to considerations for relocating poles or reconsider removal of vegetative buffers. Um, and also they can email us at northernpass at concordnh.gov if they have any other questions for the city of Concord. Super. Well, thanks. And uh, again, um, as Danielle and Beth have said, this is a really important time for people who might be concerned um, either for the project, against the proposed project. But um, this is a time that's really important to make your views known. So take a look at the uh, web page on the city's website to uh, get the information about where to uh, send an email or a letter or what opportunity you might have to uh, actually make your uh, views known in person to this site evaluation committee.